Now they've had two hours without food, so maybe they will might be more inclined to feed. Oh, there's one. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to pick it up with a bee grammar. Yeah, I am hoping for this colony to be quite active because they have been so far. They usually take a good 20 minutes to figure out that I've actually opened the door for them. So now they're actually going to have to start working for their food again. <laughs> what we have here is how we see a dandelion. And then we have how a lot of insects, including bees, see the dandelion. Obviously, it's not very yellow to them, but what's key about it is that it's got almost like a big target in the middle. And what that is, is UV light being reflected. And biologists think this has evolved so it can tell pollinators, come here, this is where you need to go. It's just like big neon signs pointing to where they want the pollinators to come. So with our flight chamber, um, we actually coloured with yellow UV paint so it'll maybe stand out to the bees a bit more and it's more obvious for them to where they have to forage. It's the same stuff that people use like on their faces when they go out to a club or whatever. The other foragers that regularly forage in this chamber, so green number four and green number 11, um, they would just walk on through and forage as normal because that one's untagged so it's hatched in like the last week exploring new territory so it'll be a bit cautious initially. No, turn around. Turn around. Each hive is given a two hour slot where the doors are open to go into the flight chamber. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just press start and the timer will start on the computer and I'll note the time that I've started in the day. And then each time something happens like entering the flight chamber or um, flying, which I'll call traveling. I'll hit the appropriate key. So you can see that's my um, key there for what I'm investigating. So E corresponds to enter, T corresponds to traveling, and then each flowers are labeled. So I have A, B, C, and D flowers. And then when it leaves the chamber, I just press L, and then I can, I know how much time each forager has spent in the chamber and whether some bees spend more time traveling or some bees spend more time um, actually foraging. Here you can see droplets of nectar. That's basically coming through all this tubing and then dropping so it's like a flower. So when they stick their tongue through these holes in the flight chamber, they'll get a nice treat. <laughs> this way. So they have two stomachs, one for digestion for themselves and one to take nectar back for the rest of the workers and they'll distribute it to the rest of the workers through a process called trophallaxis. Trophallaxis is basically kind of like bees kissing. So they'll kiss each other and they'll pass nectar into the other one's mouth. But they'll also put it into wax pods that larvae and pupa are staying in and then that's how the young are getting food as well.